Maybe you don't have any knowledge about Paleolithic and Neolithic period? Well, you're in the right video to listen off. It's such an honor to speak with you today. But I think we might still be missing some few people. But I'm going to kick things off now so we have time to get through everything. Just a little background of myself. My name is Reniel Kabak, but you can call me Rina Short. Our presentation is divided into various categories. The first one is environment. The second one is their survival skills. The third one is their foods. The fourth one is their tools. And lastly, their arts. But before we start to discuss each categories, allow my members to introduce themselves. Hello everyone, my name is Frances Almacera. My name is Grace Elaine Seva Poleranan. My name is Rosalyn. My name is Justin B. Salipado. My name is Alexander Gil Torres. My name is Alexander S. Perlares. My name is Justin Celde Cortez Hernandez. My name is Jeff Lorenzo Navarro. My name is Samuel I. Reynal Jr. My name is Mark Sigua. And I'm delighted to have you in our presentation. As you know, all of my group members, Let's proceed now and discuss the significance of comparing Paleolithic and Neolithic period. But before we proceed to our topic, what is Paleolithic and Neolithic period? Paleolithic period or the Old Stone Age is a period in human prehistory distinguished by the original development of stone tools that covers 99% of the time period of human technological prehistory. The Neolithic period or the New Stone Age is the final division of the Stone Age when the first development of farming appeared for about 12,000 years ago. So how significant to have cognition of the difference of Paleolithic and Neolithic period? To sum it all up, it is very significant to have knowledge on their differences in reference that through this kind of cognition, we will able to identify how they develop through time just using their survival skills and wits. The Paleolithic period environment is characterized by a dramatic climate change from the last glacial stage to a warm period which persists until today. Their culture characterized by the use of knapped stone tools. Although at the same time, humans also use wood and bone tools. They hunting or scavenging wild animals to have food. In Neolithic period, it involves a far more than the adoption of a limited set of food producing techniques. These societies radically modified their natural environment by means of specialized food crop cultivation with activities such as irrigation and deforestation which allowed the production of surplus food. Next category is their survival skills. In Paleolithic period, tracking and hunting animals Food hunting is a dominant job to them. Tracking animals is a significant skill that likely developed very early in our history. As we developed greater cognitive abilities and became more reliant on animal fats and proteins to feed our big brains. In Neolithic period, Neolithic people were skilled farmers. They have learned planting and manufacturing a range of tools necessary for tendings, harvesting and processing of crops, and food production. In a first-year investigation seminar, Human Survival Learning from the Past, students start a fire, spin wool, and smelt copper the way it was done 8,000 years ago. So as you know, I'm also part of this presentation, and I'm going to continue Rain's unfinished explanation. Let's proceed to the third category, which is their foods. In Paleolithic or Old Stone Age, people had two ways of obtaining food. First is by hunting and second is by gathering. Gathering is finding wild berries and other plants to eat. We sometimes call this people hunter gatherers, a Paleolithic settlement. In Neolithic period, or the New Stone Age, food cultures were not always this way. In the early Stone Age, humans could only eat what they hunted or gathered. They likely spice up their food with local herbs and plants. 
but cooking as an art was limited. By the end of the Stone Age, however, people were making full meals and experimenting with their culinary skills. Now, let's proceed to the fourth category, which is their tools. In Paleolithic period, humans developed small blades of stone by chipping sharp slivers of a core and attaching it to a club or handa. Knives were made with larger stone blades, and hand axes were made by sharpening a core into a wedge. All of these objects could have been used as weapons, but also had functions in daily life. In the Neolithic period, humans made use of hand axes roughly hone chopping, scrapping, and cutting tools with a bulldozer, hand-sized stone grip that tapered down to a sharp point. The Neolithic farmer and stock weaver to cut his food, rip cereals, cat hides, and etc. And lastly, there are arts. In Paleolithic period, there are two main forms of Paleolithic art. They are known to modern scholars, small sculptures, and monumental paintings, incised designs, and reliefs on the walls of caves. In Neolithic era, in prehistoric art, the term Neolithic art described all arts and crops created by societies who had abandoned the semi-nomadic lifestyle of hunting and gathering food in favor of farming and animal husbandry. Here are some sample pictures of their arts. Now we learn the difference of Paleolithic and Neolithic period. I hope you have learned so many things. Thank you for staying with us and have a good day.